We are so happy to welcome a guest into our studio. We only get to speak to him for just moments during yes. the week on Wednesdays <laughs> yeah. and occasionally out and about. Uh, but he's back to work, ladies and gentlemen, from Good Day on uh, Fox 29. Mike Jarek is here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hey. Studio, we got it. <laughs> Thank you. How Thank you doing, you. man? That's probably all you can take of me is about two or three minutes a week, right? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, we, 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 we wish we had more opportunities to socialize, you know, I mean, but... Uh, um, obviously, you, you, we, we're just on at the same time. It's well, funny when people come in and say, "You know, did you see uh, Good Morning America?" They're, no, we're we're working at that time. It's you know? called Good Day Philadelphia, but uh, yeah. Good Morning America is <laughs> our. No, I, no, I know, I know. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 anything, yeah, yeah, even yeah. the Today Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Today it could have been anyone. Let's mention yeah, them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're the only local one. Uh, here's the thing, uh, and thank you for having me on. Uh, I was in North Carolina at this treatment facility for about a month, but yeah. I got back about 10 days ago. So I got to do something I, that I haven't been able to do since I came back from New York, and that's listen to this show. Oh, wow. hey. yeah. we are so sorry. And how in the hell are you number one? No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no I caught myself... And I don't laugh out loud much. Mm -hmm. Anybody, well, you guys are laugh out loud people. Every day. Yeah. yeah. Like Kathy laughs at she does. Are they fake laughs? No. 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 no they're real you, you can't fake I don't laugh generate that cackle. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sure. laying naked in my bed, Ooh. and I turn on MMR. And so I got to listen to you for the first time because of I do my show, yes. which at the same time. I laughed out loud every day. Awesome. This Thank is you. really a good show. Thank you. And it's so tightly produced. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's got to be you, Preston, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a... Uh, I can't lay credit. No. I can't take credit uh, it's, for a, it's, Casey. A, it's a team effort. I mean, I'm the team captain, but... Uh, you know. <laughs> no, it seems like you're just sitting around talking, but I know yeah. what it takes to make it entertaining. No, and... and every you, single second is entertaining. Thank you. I mean, you, you guys, so you, you're beholding to a, uh, the TV schedule, which is a lot more precise than are we, but uh, we yeah. appreciate that. It's very kind of you to say so. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Well, listen, um, let, let's touch on this. You, you had some things uh, occur in your life that made you need to get out of there. And, the only and way just... I could get on this show is to get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> we have standards, Mike. So. But, but you, you had some you stuff wouldn't be you the first. Yeah, out. And listen, true. What, what I first want to touch on is your uh, your friends, your, your, your managers, your coworkers, everybody at Fox 29. To allow you to do that is that's pretty huge. You know oh what I mean? God, it's, I'm so grateful to them. I'm blessed to have that part of our our big corporation, 21st Century Fox. They have something called the Employment Assistance Program. Mm -hmm. So if you run into some difficulties in your life, they allow you to take time off to go help yourself. I mean, it seems like a, an absolute rarity. Oh, it is. Yeah. Uh, well, this this used to be the the anomaly years ago. You'd be shown the door and get out. Right. But because it is such a pervasive, prevalent issue, and so many people, my own brother has gone through a very similar situation, and work encouraged and helped him get through it. Yeah. And he's doing phenomenally well. You know, you you they're they're just everyone has a misstep now and then, and it's you can't just throw out the proverbial baby with the bathwater. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've been with Fox since 1999, so uh, I guess they gave me a little bit of a break, a big break, yeah, by giving me the six weeks to rest. You know, I haven't taken more than two weeks off in probably 25 years. Yeah. Well, you you oh I God I go back years ago when you were you were hosting a show on the Sci-Fi channel that I loved. Right? It sci -fi was Buzz. A, yeah, and you just kept going and you've always been in and out. You've been on a number of shows that I've enjoyed and and you are uh you're one of those guys who is seamless and just makes it work and and I, maybe in a way you're cursed by your own um, incredible capability that you can you know you can function and get along. It's what my brother was doing. He was able to do his job incredibly well, yeah. and uh, and there was no 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 well, fraying. You know what I'm saying? This didn't become a problem. Oh my God, is that me from your? <laughs> <laughs> this is really <laughs> look at that hair. Uh, this didn't become a problem until about a, a year ago, maybe a year and a half. Yes, yeah. I, uh, I was I developed claustrophobia. When I was flying on airplanes, out of the blue, no kind of out of the blue. Yeah. I don't know what that that claustrophobia thing's gone back probably five years, uh, because I used to fly on small planes. I've flown with the Blue Angels, you know, that cockpit sure. with a helmet on and all that. That's claustrophobic. But so I uh, got some anti-anxiety medication, uh, lorazepam. Sure. sure. So that helped me fly. So then when I developed this depression. Probably, 
I've been fighting this off for probably 12, 13 years. Yeah. Yeah. Real low grade, but then it got real severe about two years ago. Yeah. So I got, wait a second, I got that anti-anxiety medication for flying. I'll just start taking them. Taking right. them. And so I was popping maybe four a day. You're not supposed to do that. And it says, obviously, don't drink alcohol. But I, I seem to be able to pull that off, too. Yeah. Uh, but then they switched me to another type of anti Anxiety medication. Yeah, and then I took a drink, and one drink was like four, two was like eight, and screwed up. Yeah. But, well, okay, so then the, the, the moment at which you had that uh, clarification where you said, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's time to time to take care of it. My daughter told me, go do this. We've been asking you to do this. Go away for 30 days. Figure out what the root of the problem is. It's not the medication. It's not the alcohol. It's you. You are depressed over something, and it yeah. was. I don't need to bore you with all that, but it goes back to 2004 when my mom died, and then 2009, my the mother of my children died, and there's a lot of guilt about a divorce and all this other stuff that we've all been through. Mm -hmm. But I had the luxury to be able to go away and deal with it. Well, there's, you know what? Yeah, the, you say that we've all we've all been through. Yep. We've had these things. We have these demons or whatever you want to label them as. But um, until you meet with somebody who can ch talk to you about a way to confront those things and 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 realize that mm -hmm. maybe this was where it all is, and you need to go back and examine. I had a, my absolute best friend happened to him, and it would. It, 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 he went to therapy and found out it was something that had happened when he was a teenager that yep. he didn't even think twice about until right. he started talking about his life. And he was like, oh, my God, that was it. That was the moment when things started to turn this direction. Mm -hmm. And it just makes it easier to cope with it. And, yeah. and, you know, you can go back to and there are exercises you can learn to help you deal with things. like and That's that. exactly what I learned. Now, I went down there kicking and screaming. I'll tell you that. I Did wanted you really? out of there. I wanted out after two two minutes. No yeah. kidding. I wanted out the first night. Uh, but about three or four days in, I realized I wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. I mean, I, I needed to stay and do it. And I got a text from my daughter, Jessica, that made me want to stay. She said, I've lost my dad. Ooh. Hmm. And okay. I'm really close with both my daughters. When she said that in a text, it, it you know broke my heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I said, okay, you're right. I need to go find out what this is. And I, I didn't want to go away to some kind of treatment center because I didn't want to relive the pain of past years. Right. But then a therapist there said, well, you're reliving it every, way, every day anyway. Yes, you're yeah. just... You're reliving it every day. Reconstituting it. Yeah. yeah. So it, be like the dentist. Go there for three hours in the chair, and then your teeth will be fine the rest of your life. So let me tell you this. After two weeks... I said, I feel good. After three weeks, I said, I've never felt this good. And by the time I left this place, I got I don't think I've ever felt this good in my life. Yeah. You look like you feel good. You, I mean, you, <laughs> you almost, do. you look like a different person. You really do. What? You, <laughs> I must have looked like. <laughs> no, you just, no, I thought you, you look healthier. Yeah. You look rested. Well, I, I've been sleeping in till seven every day. <laughs> well, you no, know, it, it does. It does take its toll. But you know what happens is, and I think it's a fear that a lot of people have, is when you start to talk about looking inward and finding out who I am. and but It sounds yeah. so other, touchy-feely. Yeah, all yeah. Like, and this stuff. But the truth of the matter is, it, it is absolutely true. And when you, when you uh, everyone I've known who, is, who has fought that and resisted that and doesn't find out, can, they can have these pernicious problems mm -hmm. that hang with them and, and morph into things like you went through. Well, Steve, I would have stayed in that funk for the rest of my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no question about it. I never would have done this on my own. So, again, thank you to my employer, Fox, yeah. for letting me go away. Speaking of for them, six weeks. how did you know that it was uh, time to go back to work? Uh, they decided that. <laughs> okay. Because sometimes work in and of itself can be therapy, and you can get back in a routine, and, and that can be healthy. It, it can be detrimental and, and damaging. Mm -hmm. um, but once you get into it, if you are healthy and the other parts of your life are healthy, work itself can help you get through tough times. Well, and I thought I wanted to go back a couple weeks ago, but the woman in charge of determining my return date yes. uh, decided April 3rd. Okay. Well, that's good. I mean, it's, it's good my that, dad's birthday, by the way. Oh, nice. Oh. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's good that you got back to the city, you got back to, you know, the grind, and, and you sort of um, got comfortable here again before you went back to That's work. exactly what she thought yeah. I should do. 
So Reacclimate. Jump back in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, because and, and you, I, I hope you know that, uh, you know, from here on out, you're going to have some ups and downs and, you know, some highs oh, yeah. and, and lows. And I know you feel great now, but you might have a morning where you wake up and, and you're not that great. But, you know, the, why are you the, trying to bring me down? No, no, no. I'm just saying the, the important thing to know is that. Uh, is, Step off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. No, he's, he's right, though. And, and but there's 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 ways of. Um, of working with that and, yeah. and you know, not through chemicals. It can't all be, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad that I don't take, I, I hate medication anyway. Yeah. So I'm off all that good, good. and it's good to be free of that. And we'll just have to see what I'll do about the airplane thing. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what I will say, you posted a picture. It was a while ago. I think it was inside your home and, um, I noticed the background of it and I noticed all the medication bottles on your counter. You did? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I, did I didn't I... think, oh, that that's what? a problem. I just noticed, wow, he certainly takes a lot of medication. Interesting. I don't remember taking that photo. I think it was. You were taking a tour of all your pharmaceuticals. <laughs> yeah. And you no, it was in. just in the background, and probably a normal person wouldn't have noticed it, but I did. You didn't see the mirror, did you? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, the ceiling mirror? No, it's no, no. Uh, well, so, you know, listen, anybody who, and we know you, we've known you for, for, for so long, and, and, and we were having a conversation, and people being legitimately excited that you're back. You're also a wonderful guy, a generous guy. You Thank devote you. so much. You're such. A, a plus to the city of Philadelphia, and I think in a way, while you you know you you have a, a fan base, um, were you you had to be extra touched by the way people oh reacted God, to this. I, I was looking at some of your Instagram uh, uh, posts; it was amazing. The company asked me, "How do you want to handle this?" And I go, "Well, I got to be honest because they they've been watching me for years. They're going to know that I'm lying if I yeah. say that I I'm on vacation yeah. <laughs> for six weeks." Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> so I said, "Well, I'll just tell them the truth. Oh, yeah. I'm not ashamed of it." No. So um, nor should you be. I no, wanted... because there are so many people that um, have gone through what you went through, and, uh, and you know you you probably can help more people by you know going through this process. That's yourself. what I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. And I was stunned that I wanted to answer every Facebook po uh, post that I got. But there were close to 14,000 people wow. said something like, this has touched my family. Right. And so you, it's very humbling, and I was very touched by that. The reciprocal, uh, the residual uh, effect of what you've done, uh, you know, and you, 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 I know you're not the kind of person who tries to puff yourself up, but the truth of the matter is that the good that will come from this will be almost incalculable. And then also I have to give massive kudos to Alex, yeah. who, you know, you guys are, are a team. You have the synergy, the energy. And and she did a fantastic job uh, in your stay. And it's in fact on the cab ride over here. Thanks, Dave, for driving <laughs> so fast. Uh, I was I was talking to some people back at the station about that. I kind of abandoned her. Yeah. Because so I I up and left in 24 hours and was on a plane to North Carolina, and she didn't even know that I was gone. Wow. So she's my TV wife. I love her. Yeah. And I, I just left her holding the bag. And as you know, even though it looks like it's an easy show to do, you got to drive that bus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she did it flawlessly. And my, how she has grown in three years. Mm. Yeah. She's a doll. And, I, you know, in our dynamic here, for example, if, if Preston were to be gone for a couple of days, we would we'd play best of. It's not the show. Yeah. If I'm gone, it's it's not the show. Right. And it's it's just and not to say that it's we're irreplaceable. It's just a dynamic that exists. Mm -hmm. For her to step up and do that was really a Herculean chore, and she really it's, rose to the challenge. It could be exhausting, but she did a beautiful job. Yeah. So, Mike, what do you do now? How do you, how do you go on now um, with your life? <laughs> we just mimic taking what, a shot. What kind of tree would you be? <laughs> <laughs> well, because we're used to seeing you out at every single event. Is no, that no, something hold you, on. But Let, hold on, is that something over... that you'll you'll scale back on? Let's don't blow this out of proportion. I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, I, I I feel better. That I don't have. I'm not thinking those thoughts anymore. It's yeah. all gone. So I can go to events. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can, you know, you can. I'm going to be fine. You will be fine. I can say no to a cocktail or I can yeah. say yes to a cocktail. Right, right. I, I'm not going to mix medic medicine with cocktails, I'll tell you that. Right. Uh, ever again. And, right. and you, you, you've also unlocked a part of what was uh, well, all apparently of what was eating away at you with these issues. Yes. Right? That were none of un that, unaddressed. None of that is there. I don't <laughs> feel any of it. As my daughter told me. Both of them, they said, you look lighter. Yeah. <laughs> not, only, not any lighter. I actually put on weight because the food was so good at this place. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have gourmet chefs. I'm not kidding. Oh, wow. What's the name of the facility? If you, if you don't, would you rather not? Silver Ridge. Silver, Silver Ridge. Ridge. You now, these treatment places always have fancy, sure. cute names like that. Yeah. Autumn Mist. Yeah. <laughs> 
Seafoam. It's never called Seafoam. Yeah, it's never the Loon Hut. No, it's, yeah. it's never uh, Drunk it's, Tank. Yeah, Wacky Central. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like there's a there's a place in Knocking Futs. <laughs> there's a place called October Road. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there actually is. Yeah, openings. Uh, you, you'll, you'll see them advertised. You know, I, when I first checked into openings, my life was in complete disarray. Yeah. And I realized they had gourmet food and everything was perfect. There it is. Wow. wow. Very nice. Kids. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Which room was yours? That giant mansion where I was for a, a month was built by a guy that that built retirement homes all over the country, and he made millions and millions of dollars. So this is just one of his houses. Yeah. It's a beautiful mansion in North Carolina near Asheville. He moved into it a month later. He had to go to a nursing home. Oh, oh that's, that's no way. retirement home. In, in, a, in a bizarre way, though, it worked yeah, out for you in the long run. Yeah. 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 Get out. I need the room. Get your bags and get out. How, how did you pick this place? Did your family help you out with that? or uh, You would th- think that would be the intelligent thing to do. Yeah. The woman who decided my return date chose it. Oh, no kidding. It was because it's for, um, there's only about, there was only, it was me and six women. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. There's no nice. uh, two of them no were, issue were there. <laughs> two of them were hot. But yeah. you can't think hot thoughts while you're no, there. No, no, no. You have to wipe out hot thoughts. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, yeah. I wasn't neutered, <laughs> yeah. but, but you weren't going there to breed either. No, yeah. if, if that's that, not a stud right. farm, if that would have happened, they would have thrown me out of that place. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Uh, but, uh, it was good. You happy to be back? Uh, I'm very happy to be back. Good. Yeah. We're happy to have good. you back. I'm refreshed. Let me give you some mantras here that I've learned. Yes. Okay. Please, please do. Now look into my eyes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The light in me sees the light in you. Ooh. Oh, that's like a uh, yoga saying. That's, yeah, namaste. 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 <laughs> namaste. The light in me sees the light in you. Slancha. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, wrong one. Shalong what? Slancha. <laughs> <laughs> what, what other? Yeah. What, is that? <laughs> what other uh, hallmark phrases? Yeah, any other mantras? Mm. Too cute to be forgotten? <laughs> 90, 97% of what we worry about never happens mm. that is true Ooh. yeah okay. that is true that's and a that, good one that, that, that that's a, a very one. salient point in the oh. bible there's a verse that says god forgives and forgets you know i never knew that one yeah i just thought he forgave but doesn't forget he doesn't keep score so you, why am i keeping score of stuff that happened we just right. assume god's keeping some sort of journal yeah so yeah for, the, for the eventual movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, it's quite a story to tell. So wow. stuff like that. Yeah. No, it, but those are all, and, and again, people sort of bristle. Oh, that's, those things help. They do help. Yeah, they do. And they're, they're useful mantras. I took equine therapy. You ever heard of that? That's yeah. where you work with horses. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yes. So I would go a, into a pen with a horse, a big horse. Well, did the horse have depression issues as well or no? Yes. Well, his head was down. I said, why the long face? <laughs> oh. Right. Anyway, shut up. <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> so, but what do you, do you know that a horse only sees uh, behind and straight ahead? Doesn't see to the sides. Huh? No peripheral. Oh, wait vision. a minute. I think it's the opposite of that. Never I think mind. it's the opposite. Yeah, yeah it sees, it just to sees the sides, o- yeah. only peripheral vision. Yes. You learned a lot there. Yeah. <laughs> I was drinking. No, I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> so, were you accidentally working with a horse's ass? <laughs> no, you work oh. with its ass. Okay. <laughs> you don't go to its face. It startles the horse. Okay. So you go around to the rear, to the right behind on its butt, and then apply mental pressure to its ass. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, this will, this will help you mental with dating. Mental pressure. Yes. <laughs> and so the horse turned and came to me. Wow. wow. Yeah. Because of your mental pressure. Oh, it's On ass. its ass. Yes. What's wow. your name? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, buddy? I like you. Kathy, Keep let's see going. if this works. Yeah. <laughs> spin, ar- spin around. <laughs> yeah. No, what you're going to hear is, what the hell are you doing back there? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Is that you sex? <laughs> Ew. Do you feel the pressure? <laughs> no, what, what that teaches you in a work environment is you, you start with the lowest amount of pressure with the people that you work with and then work up to getting outraged. <laughs> to do absolute <laughs> anarchy. Here's another one. I needed to break the cycle of my reactivity. Okay. Because I would, if something went wrong with the show, I'd blow up. Yeah. What the yep. hell? 
And so you start low. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. work up to. Do you like that? Be honest. That's a that's a thing that's that's important. Yeah. So I mean, you be, the proof is in the pudding. You look you look great, and it and it's fantastic that you're back. You. And we're able to get over here yep. today. Thank you. Yeah, we're very excited. To, uh, I love your show. To have your well, return. Thank you. In man. fact. I just might relapse so I can listen to it. <laughs> well, we'd be honored to have you sink you. back into your hole because All of right. us. Well, he's back. We do it. We have to take a break because we actually got to fit these commercials in. That's what we got to do. Oh, they yeah. do that in TV, too. Uh, but, Mike, thank you for coming thank by you. here. We Preston, never get a chance please. to speak at length, so this is a wonderful Happy. thing. Excellent. Mike Jarek back on Fox 29. Good day, Philadelphia. We'll go live on with him on Wednesday on his airtime. But we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. we got to wrap things up in just a moment. 